Still photos offer a glimpse of the Peregrine Falcon family living on a ledge outside the Atlantic Club Casino Hotel. I think it's a great story uh, that the casino is willing to uh, set aside um, putting up their new sign in order to help these, these birds. It's an incredible success story of, uh, of a big time corporation versus the little bird and, uh, and how people inherently want to do the right thing and you know, can wait a couple of weeks until these birds are fledged and can you know, fly on their own before they continue with their work. These birds are among a handful of other peregrine falcons that have found homes in urban areas of New Jersey. Among them is this high-rise building in Jersey City, where a webcam allows experts and the public to keep track of their well-being. Sure, peregrine falcons uh, in the wild often uh, used to uh, nest in, in cliffs. Uh, today, uh, they'll find a substitute for cliffs, uh, high-rises, uh, apartment buildings, uh, businesses, uh, the bridges, you'll find them everywhere from the George Washington bridges to uh, um, you know, high rises over in Jersey City. Peregrine falcons have made a bit of a comeback. Pesticides led to their decline in the 1960s when there were just 10 pairs. Today, there are about two dozen. It's another success story as far as regulations put into place to eliminate those kind of pesticides and the birds have been uh, coming back. They are still considered threatened in the state of New Jersey uh, because of their low numbers, but um, the numbers have been slowly increasing, which is a very good sign. The oldest identified wild peregrine in New Jersey is 15. Vlad, who lives at Essex County's Turtleback Zoo, is also 15. These birds have no real predators. They prey on smaller waterfowl, keeping their numbers in check and they're incredibly fast. Uh, they actually kind of dive bomb their prey. They, they prey on other birds and scientists have calculated that they can actually hit almost 200 miles per hour. This is nesting season for peregrines. In New Jersey, they nest along the Atlantic coast from Ocean to Cape May counties and on Delaware River bridges from Burlington to Cumberland counties. All nests were on man-made structures until a milestone occurred in 2003. That's when a pair successfully produced and reared offspring from their home on the cliffs of the Palisades. State biologists are keeping track of the birds through a banding program to ensure that their numbers continue to rise. For NJ Today, I'm Desiree Taylor in West Orange.